Hey guys, we're gonna look at smart cues right now. Smart cues are great. They are actually not media. They're not pictures. They're not um, videos. They're not music. They're actually actions. But let's go ahead and take a look at this smart cue playlist. And I've added all the smart cues already. And to add smart cues to any playlist, um, it's in your resources right here around pictures and videos. You just pick the smart cue that you want and you hit add and then you hit done. Um, but we have all the smart cues that we want. So we're just gonna cancel and keep things the way we have it. Um, let's look at this first one. Now, all smart cues are going to have different editing properties. Unlike pictures and music that have all the same editing properties, like all music has the same editing menu, all videos have a different but same editing menu as um, as all the other videos. So, smart cues have all unique properties. So, all their editing screens are going to be different. So, let's take a look at the first one: pause, unpause. So, what this will do is, if a track is playing and you execute this smart cue. It will pause the track and if you execute another one it will unpause the track so you need to have two of them one to pause or one to unpause if you want to unpause um, so it doesn't just do a hard pause it can fade down and then pause the track so we're going to do a fade down of three seconds before it actually pauses the track and you have your typical things like autoplay and wait times and of course your help menu so now that we have a pause cue created, let's go ahead and just save that and the parameters of that. Um, now change volume is going to be a playing track. You're going to be able to change the volume of it by adding this track. So we can change the volume down to, say, 15%. And this is great. So if you have a playing track, you hit this. Maybe you go out into the audience. You want to start talking. You want the music to drop down. You just push one button and it brings the volume down to 15%. And you can decide how quickly that happens over how many seconds you want it to come down. So we're going to do it pretty quickly because we're just doing a demo here. And of course, autoplay and wait are features that are still there. So I'm going to hit save. Um, now fade out, that just fades out. That just executes a fade out. So let's say uh, you're playing a track and instead of pushing fast forward, you just want to hit the center button again. Some people like only hitting the center button. Well, then you can go ahead and just use this and whatever track is playing, it'll just fade it out according to the track's editing parameters. So if you have the track set to have a fade time of eight seconds, when you hit this cue, fade out, the smart cue, it'll fade the track for eight seconds. Um, and of course, these are handy for auto plays and wait time. So you can have some automated fades that'll happen. And you'll see how to use these as you start building your playlist. But basically, this will fade out any music uh, or video track that's playing. So we're going to ahead and use that guy. Uh, timers are great. People always like to use these things. So under the show timer, you can set a timer to kind of monitor yourself. Uh, you can set it to however long your show you want it to be. So let's say 55 minutes. These are hours, of course. Uh, I go ahead and hit done. And if you want the timer to count up or you want it to count down, you can choose either one. You can also try to choose a warning. So the timer will start flashing at you. Um, let's say four minutes, five minutes before the show ends. So around the 50 minute mark, it's gonna start flashing and letting you know that you're running out of time. Um, and then you can have these other things auto play and wait. Um, so when the timer goes past 55 minutes, the timer will be up here in green counting down. When it goes past 55 minutes, well first when it goes past 50, it'll start flashing. And then when it goes past 55, it'll keep counting, but it'll go into negative. So it'll be in like negative zero, zero, one second, two second, three. So it'll start counting down in negative. And then when you use a stop timer um, feature, It'll stop any timer that's going and hold it so that way you can see how much time you've actually performed for. Um, so let's go ahead and save that. Loading a playlist will actually let you load a completely different playlist. So you can choose from all the different playlists in your app. Um, that's maybe be my full show. I can load that up. And so in the middle of my playlist, I can just drop this cue and immediately jump to another show. Uh, while while I'm mid show, which is which is handy. Uh, note is just going to be an internal note. You would just retitle this up here, and um, you could have like the MC's name or your sponsor or your lighting technician that you want to thank. So you could put all these notes up here, or maybe some pre-show work um, of a prediction or something. You can put that all up here, and it'll be facing you, so only you will see it. 
Um, let's go ahead and save that. Blackout screen will black out any uh, video or picture up on the screen. So if you don't want to just supersede it with another picture or video and you want the screen to go black, you would use this screen and you have the fade times and the autoplays and, and wait times, of course, like normal. OSC is pretty complicated, so I'm going to dive into this on a separate tutorial and we'll look at the power of that. So let's see what these look like in action. So let's add um, an audio track and see what that's going to look like. So let's go to my document and let's pick an audio track. Let's try uh, three clubs. Great. Hit done. And now let's go ahead and drag this up and uh, we're going to play it. And then we're going to um, change the volume of it. So I'm going to bring this change volume up, grab that guy and drag him up, change volume. There we go. So we're going to change the volume to 15% and then we're going to raise it back up. So I'm going to duplicate this cue and change volume to uh, 100. I'm just going to call it 100 so I know we're changing it back up to 100. Done. Save. And I can actually retitle this one to be changed volume to 15%. This is just internal so I know, uh, you know where the volumes are going and what these things are doing. And then I'm going to add a pause unpause. So I'm going to duplicate this cue and I'm going to make it so it's going to pause this cue. It's going to fade three seconds and pause it. Um, and what I'll do is actually title this pause because I know this first thing is going to be a pause and this next cue will be an unpause. So I will title this uh, appropriately. So I'll call this unpause. Okay, great. And then I'm going to have it fade out. Actually, let's go ahead and bring the timers up here too and put these into action. I want you to see all this stuff working in synergy. Okay. Um, and we're going to make this auto play. So that way, as soon as I start the timer, the track will start. Whoops. I don't think that took. I didn't save that. So auto play and then save. Great. And you can see the little logo and icon over there with the arrow so you know it's autoplay and then I'll trigger a volume change and it'll drop down to 15% I'll raise it back up to 100% I'll pause the track it'll fade and pause and then it'll unpause and fade the track back up then I'll fade it out and then automatically we'll stop uh, the timer that's running so it just gives you an idea I just want to see you to see the flow of um, of these smart cues and how they work all right let's go ahead and start the show Let's go back up into here. It should load from start timer. And what I'll do is I'll click on this. It'll start a 55 minute timer and automatically start a music track playing. So we're gonna trigger the volume change. That's gonna drop the volume down to 15% over three seconds. Now we're gonna execute the next volume change. That's gonna bring it up to 100 over three seconds. Now we're gonna execute a pause. And again, you saw that fade down over three seconds and then actually execute the pause. The reverse is gonna happen now. It's gonna unpause the track and bring it back up to full volume. And now we just simply execute the fade out and stop timer automatically hit. So right here, um, it auto played the stop timer after the fade out and you can see it's 54 seconds and uh, 54 minutes and 22 seconds. And you can clear this out just by clicking on there and going back to the clock. So I hope you um, got an idea of smart cues. Also, here's a load playlist. So if I wanted to load a playlist, now it just loaded up a completely different playlist. So that is an overview of the smart cues and how to integrate them into your workflow. They're super powerful and make your show so much more flexible the way you build it. I hope you guys put these to use.